whole group uh, for the project that we have done on competitive model of e-governance. Uh, this model um, focuses on uh, comparing the um, comparing the human development indexes of different countries uh, based on the education uh, status, education level, and uh, um, basically education of uh, education parameters of the of the countries uh, we've uh, done this project using uh, a programming language which is uh, python and some some libraries such as pandas and seaborn and matplotlib um, python and pandas were used uh, to um, to analyze uh, our data to check what are the um, values that uh, what are the missing values missing entries in our data sets and what are the and and basically to figure out uh, and analyze um, the statistical measures uh, from our data and uh, seaborn and matplotlib were uh, used to visualize um, uh, the results and visualize the data set that is given to us um, before uh, heading forward, we would like to uh, thank um, our dearest ma'am, uh, Anku ma'am, for giving us this um, this project uh, and giving us the opportunity to try and test and explore this project on our own and uh, always uh, motivating us. So moving forward. Uh, uh, human development index. Uh, we've considered human development index, which uh, provides the measure of social and economic development of a country by capturing education, health, and economic uh, income level of the country's resident residents. Uh, so, human development index shows us uh, where does the country lie uh, in the development index. Where what is the development status of uh, of the countries? Uh, where are the uh, which are the parameters? parameters that needs to be worked on uh, so that the country moves forward with the, with the development. Um, and in this project, we've only uh, considered uh, education as our major parameter to uh, to measure the human to to analyze and visualize the human development index of different countries. Uh, this uh, this project is based on comparative model, uh, which compares uh, the uh, human development index ranks of different countries which gives us the idea of uh, what is the education status of different countries uh, and which gives us basically the idea of uh, how much um, of an uh, how much the education is correlated with the development of the country so uh, the result of this uh, study uh, suggests that the higher the literacy rate of the country, higher is the development of, of that country. So um, we have taken the data set uh, from, um, from, um, from a source which is you know, uh, from a source which is uh, UNDP. Uh, after uh, getting the data from there and, and, and collecting the data from there, we have tried to uh, clean uh, the data and reduce the data and try to only capture the data and include the parameters that only uh, directly affect the human development index of, uh, of that country. So we have taken out the data set. We have taken out the examples and the parameters from from our data set which do not affect much to the human development index so uh, this is uh, basically our data set after cleaning uh, and um, processing uh, we've uh, used um, excel uh, to only uh, to to clean this data set and to reduce this data set and and have used pandas for further uh, statistical analysis so the objective of the study, um, as mentioned earlier, is to help uh, understand the is to help understand which country fall under which uh, development index, and to help um, policymakers to learn the lessons from the developed countries, and also to check the weaknesses and strengths and flaws uh, in the policies, and to help them um, incorporate education as a very important factor for the development and consider education as the important factor for the socio-economic development of any country.
So um, uh, as uh, as uh, already been being said, uh, we've collected the data from UNDP. Uh, we've cleaned the data using Excel only uh, initially at the initial phase, and we've tried to reduce the data uh, with pandas and Excel, and we've. Uh, uh, We've visualized the results, and we've also we've visualized the different educational parameters using Seaborn and Matplotlib. Uh, tools and technologies used um, in this project are uh, are uh, Python uh, as a programming language, and Pandas, Seaborn, Matplotlib as their libraries, and Google Colab as our platform to 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 uh, to run our program so this is a, a overall visualization of what our data set contains and uh, and different uh, and their different ranks so our data set contains different parameters uh, like um, population with at least some secondary education percentage of um, percentage of uh, primary school age population, percentage of primary school, uh, secondary school age population, percentage of tertiary school age uh, population, their, um, their uh, adult literacy rate and, and everything. So uh, we can also see the code uh, from here. Uh, we have uh, uh, taken the data, collected the data, and uh, we have basically try to um, analyze the data by by looking uh, all over looking over it and uh, and also uh, to check uh, what our data actually contains what are the different types uh, that our data contains is it an object is it uh, uh, is uh, is it um, an integer type which is um, which um, which falls on the technical uh, part so uh, this um, heat map uh, or this visualization majorly concerned with uh, the the missing entries that are present in our data set. So while uh, we, after collecting the data, data um, from the given source, we've figured that there are so many uh, entries that are not filled or there are so many data points that are not valid there were so many data uh, columns that were not filled so there were lots of missing entries so we we just tried to visualize that missing entries in our data set through this uh, uh, through this um, through this visualization of of through this visualization and yes this is the overall um, visualization of what all the things that are that are there in our data set so um, <clears throat> About this uh, visualization, uh, we have uh, tried to, uh, we have taken each educational parameters that are given in the data set, such as literacy rate of adults, literacy rate of a population with some secondary education and primary education. And we have tried to uh, check if they really correlate with the human development index rank or uh, by which means, uh, do they really affect the human development index or not? And uh, after visualizing, visualizing uh, we figured that the literacy rate of adults who are um, who are 15 and 15 age and older. So higher the literacy rate. From this figure, we can um, we can uh, get we can derive that higher the literacy rate, highest will be the human development index, which means um, if the country has high, if the country, the more the literacy rate of the country, uh, the development index of that country uh, will be, the development will be at the topmost position. So uh, uh, we can compare this figure with, uh, uh, with our figure, um, figure number nine which has uh, the parameter of uh, dropout rate and human development index. So these two pictures are completely on a different different scale. The first picture which shows the correlation between uh, literacy rate of adult and human development index, they are completely on the right hand side, which means higher the literacy rate, uh, 
higher the literacy rate, um, lowest will be the human development index, index rank, which means one is the lowest rank. However, one is the top uh, top uh, top most rank, right? So um, so we can uh, we can derive that conclusion from here and uh, just the polar opposite of which uh, in figure nine figure nine, which is the dropout rate. So if the country has more percentage of dropout rates, uh, the human development index um, will be the will be the highest, which means uh, the human development index, index will be the lowest, which means human development index rank will be at the low, uh, will be at the um, bottom. So, which means uh, a, a country is heavily a country's development is heavily affected by. Um, uh, heavily affected by the education um, education. So, mom, Mm, uh, so uh, this is the result from our data analysis. Uh, we have compared the results based on um, the uh, based on different factors, um, based on the regions, based on based on the development groups, such as um, such as the countries which are highly developed, the countries which are developing, least developed countries, small island developing uh, states, and um, and derive the average uh, percentage of all the factors that are there in our um, in our data set, such as literacy rate, population, and dropouts, and the government expenditure on education and and, uh, and such. So um, the country which is developed or the developing uh, has higher um, higher value than the country which is uh, least developed. So. Uh, so this gives us an idea of uh, um, of uh, the uh, of this gives us an idea of the uh, effect of um, uh, literacy uh, in the development. And likewise, we have also analyzed that based on regions like um, Arab state, East Asia, and the Pacific, Europe, and Central Asia, and and, and likewise. And then also taken the average of um, average of these factors, uh, education parameters, and uh, it also gives us an idea of which uh, state uh, or which region has. Um, uh, uh, which value or which region is more developed in terms of education. So um, this is uh, the overview of uh, this is the overview of our of the project that we've done. Uh, we've done Google Google Colab. We have tried to um, group different uh, countries based on the um, based on uh, the their development ranks and and so on. So after doing this project, uh, we've come to an conclusion that um, comparative uh, model is um, is a crucial model to uh, compare the development of different communities, different countries, different localities, and it gives us and it gives the policy maker and the decision maker the idea of um, where they need to work on and what are the factors what are the things that are already being settled down or what are the factors that have already that are directly or indirectly contributing to the development of the country and the locality and likewise and uh, uh, this model competitive model uh, is used to empower people by comparing the cases of bad governance with those of good governance and identifying identifying aspects of bad governance and the regions and the people behind it. So um, from the data itself and from the different ranks uh, that are there uh, that are given, uh, yeah, we can see yeah. that um, uh, Norway falls under the top one highest, uh, which is the highest uh, human development index rank, uh, which means Norway is, no, the literacy rate of Norway is really good. And uh, likewise, uh, uh, likewise, 
uh, Niger or something. This is a country's name. So this this is at the bottom, which means the um, so which means we can compare Norway and Niger based on education parameter, and uh, we can see uh, we can we can analyze. Uh, and take the lessons from Norway, basically, to uh, grow the country towards towards the development. So this is all about our project. And uh, thank you so much.